So hello, everyone. My name is Jane Park, and I'm with Creative Commons. I was tabling at that table over there this morning. We have a lot of Creative Commons swag to give away, including limited edition stickers that we designed specifically for this event. We have boxes and boxes of it, so I encourage you to go and grab one on your way out for your family and friends. So I am here to tell the story of Creative Commons search, in particular, how we are improving access to the public domain and the larger commons through search and discovery that is grounded in six months of user research. I'm not here to tell the story of this Creative Commons search, which many of you know and may have used 10 or more years ago, and this is what currently sits at search.creativecommons.org, which we will change this year, but a different Creative Commons search, which we have been working on for roughly two years now, uh, first releasing this proof of concept back in February of 2017. This proof of concept, or what the startup world likes to call an MVP, uh, searched across 10 million images and five providers, initially getting that image and data set through an open API or an, a manual CSV dump. The MVP also had a few social features, like allowing a user to tag in favorite images and save their searches. The CC search was built by Liza Daly with this ultimate vision in mind, to build a front door to the commons with the ultimate goal to find and index all 1.1 billion at the time Creative Commons license works on the web. As of 2017, the last time we counted, uh, it's 1.47 billion, so it's probably more than that. Once built, the MVP did two things. It showed everyone that we could actually build something, and so then it secured us funding to take it to the next level. So I want to give a big shout out to Arcadia and Mozilla who gave us that funding to take it to the next level. So with that funding, we hired Paola Villarreal as our director of product engineering in late 2017. And we started building the next iteration, which would be this beta, which we just released this past September. Under Paola, the ultimate vision for Creative Commons search stayed largely the same. We still wanted to catalog the entirety of the commons and eventually serve it up in meaningful and relevant ways for users. Paola's approach towards this vision was to do so in a sequential way. First, by laying the groundwork through a Creative Commons catalog, which would serve as a core database of content. Her approach was to initially focus on quantity over quality, to build up the universe of CC works through a combination of the common crawl data set and open APIs from providers, so that, so that eventually, once the corpus of content became large enough, she could then shift her focus to quality efforts, such as curation. While Paolo was leading this effort, I was carrying out the first large-scale user research project that Creative Commons has ever undertaken. In the span of six months, we talked to a ton of people, over 80, and then we also surveyed 36 existing interviews, and we talked to them about their motivations, their behaviors, their problems, and their ideal outcomes for sharing content online, with and without Creative Commons licensing. The research yielded nine key insights, one of which validated our earlier hypothesis for building Creative Commons search in the first place. And that insight was that people want to share and find good work, but find it difficult to navigate the abundance of content and information online. You might think that this one's a no-brainer, but the difference was that this time we had actual data to back, up, back it up instead of just conjecture. We had 117 people telling us the same problem and need to Creative Commons, the organization. So a couple of months ago, Paola left us for an amazing opportunity with the government of Mexico City, and I stepped into the role of director of product and research, my eighth position at Creative Commons. And just this past month, we welcomed a new director of engineering and a front-end engineer, and the CC search team now consists of five people as of January 1st, Chrissy, Sophine, Alden, Breno, and myself, um, and they are all very delightful and very talented, um, and I'm very glad to be working with them. And since September, we ran two more sprints, and we are finishing our, our first sprint of 2019 next week, and this is the current state of CC search beta. It searches across more than 268 million images, which includes everything from art objects to science photos, uh, most everything on Flickr, and an initial set of 3D designs under CC0 from Thingiverse. It searches across 21 providers, including the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Cleveland Museum of Art, which, as you all know, uh, just announced their CC0 policy this week. Uh, millions of images are tagged with Clarify, a best-in-class image classification software which provides tagging and visual recognition. And I'm required to say that because we have a marketing agreement with them, but they are also great. <laughs> we also provide one-click attribution for all of the images on CC Search and public list creation and sharing. 
So this is a demo of a search. It's unfortunate it started off on the Google Doc, but uh, you can try it out yourself at ccsearch.creativecommons.org. We chose the Cleveland Museum of Art for this demo because, as I mentioned, they announced CC0 for their public domain collection online this, uh, this just two days ago on Wednesday. So following in the footsteps of museums like the Met Museum and Rick's Museum, who have been leading the way in that uh, regard. So as we partner with more institutions to get their public domain collections online, I would love to pose a uh, question to you, the audience, and to hear back from you how you think that Creative Commons and our partner organizations should be thinking about discovery, but more importantly, reuse of the public domain and the larger commons. So where should we focus our efforts, and where do you think we can make the biggest impact? Because we are at an inflection point right now with the vision and strategy for Creative Commons search. On the one hand, we have this beta image search with an ultimate grand vision that has not changed much. We still want to build that front door. We still want to index all 1.47 billion or more CC license and public domain works in the commons. But it kind of matters where we build the store. The ultimate vision is great, but we need something a little bit more specific to work towards. We need to build the door in a way and in a place that's actually useful for people. So on the other hand, we now have actual data and user research to help us get more specific. We're going to start with a vision for Creative Commons Search one year out, which will integrate the other eight key insights from user research, which you can read all about at this link, bit.ly. It's my post on the user research we did over six months. But as a preview, I will, um, and as food for thought, I'll go over a couple of them here that we're thinking of including in CC Search or already have. The first one is that people are motivated to give credit to other people, but they find attribution complicated and a hassle. Also seems like a no-brainer, but now we have the data to back it up and to prioritize it, and we have, we have one-click attribution for all images in CC Search. How can we make this one-click attribution better? Can it be no-click attribution? Can we make the attribution work across different kinds of media and platforms? Another insight that is especially relevant because we are currently standing inside the Internet Archive is that people have a desire to create work that is lasting and meaningful, that eventually has a life of its own, but they don't know what to do with a work beyond publishing it. So should Creative Commons provide archiving as a service for individuals in collaboration with a partner like the Internet Archive? Yes. <laughs> Great. So we, we, we did one thing today. <laughs> And there are more insights where that came from. But in general, we're going to work from the hypothesis that users come to Creative Commons Search not to, just to discover any work on the web, because they could easily use Google for that, but to discover and reuse free resources with greater ease and with greater confidence. So we are going to be publishing our new vision and strategy for Creative Commons Search next month, uh, which will have a lot more detail and specific user groups prioritized. But in the meantime, what you can do is join us um, on Slack at Creative Commons, the CC Usability channel, where we have Feedback Fridays every Friday of, a, of an active sprint, which is one going on right now. And you can also just shoot me a note at jane at creativecommons.org. It's an alias. I can shut off access to the email anytime if I think I'm getting overloaded. So feel free to email me. <laughs> But thank you, but thank you especially to these creators of CC license and public domain works from the commons that I used for this talk. <laughs>